everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today I'm going to share with you an unboxing of a diamond painting that I've wanted for a really long time and that is called Celestial. This is by Jojo's Art. I'll put a picture here for you. This, this has been on Diamond Art Club's website for a really long time and I don't know if you know this but last year, was it last year or the year before? Oh my goodness. Um, I completed the diamond painting called Nightbringer. I've done a few videos since then. I'll put them in the cards here. Um, I, I demoed the diamond painting wheel tool using that canvas. And I even shared how to stretch a canvas over one of those frames. If you're interested in checking out those videos, I'll just have them popping up there in the corner so you can check them out. I love Jojo's art and I love deer. Um, when I was little, you know, I, I lived in the country growing up and I don't know, I just, I felt really connected to them. And so whenever, whenever I see artwork like this, I kind of, I don't know, I get some feelings, you know what I mean? So <laughs> those drills are stuck in there pretty good. All right, there's a better picture. So we have a sticker sheet that has the original artwork on it. Can you see how beautiful he is? So obviously this is a fantasy picture. I don't know any actual bucks that have that many points. <laughs> but anyway, this is a round diamond painting, a round drill diamond painting with ABs. There are 34 colors total. And it looks like there are two different ABs. So let's get into it. We've got the drills here. We've got a toolkit here. This does come with everything that you need to diamond paint. And someone asked me the last time if it comes with a multi-placer. It does. There's a three-placer in there. Uh, pen, squishy, wax, drill tray, all that kind of stuff. Here is the instruction manual for how to diamond paint. And let's get into this canvas. So you know that Diamond Art Club's canvas is very soft. It's kind of got this um, velveteen finish in the back, which I really, really like. Just makes working on the canvas a pleasurable experience because when they're soft like this, they're more malleable. You can work on them in smaller places. You don't have to worry about creasing and you know making large dents in your painting. I once worked on one of these on my easel. I have an A2 wooden easel that I got from Amazon and um, I was able to roll it up at the bottom and lean my arm against it and still diamond paint on it and there were there was no damage done to that canvas at all. So here we go. Wow this is very big. And in typical like round drill style, you're not going to be able to see much of the picture here because of the symbols. And my camera is kind of having a hard time even telling what's on here. But this is a 55 by 73 centimeter diamond painting. So it's quite big. And as you can see, there's a schematic, there's a picture, and then you have the two inventory lists on either side. And let's see, I'll bring it down to the, to the canvas instead of bringing it up. Let's look at his face. All right, here is his face. And I really like it already because I can tell that his eyes have a lot of detail in them. You can see his nose very well. In comparison to Nightbringer, which is a teeny tiny deer on a really big canvas, this is quite a big deal deer on a big canvas. It's much more close up, so you'll get a lot of detail. So I hope you can see the symbols here. We have letters, we have uh, keyboard symbols, all the typical symbols of Diamond Art Club. So if I move this just a little bit, you can see here the start of the sun. And isn't it gorgeous? So the two ABs that we have are the number one, which I think you can see here in the sun. All of this bright brightness of the sun in the flare. And then we have another one, which is E. And I believe that is up here. Yeah, I can see it up here. 
up here in the actual deer's face. So we have some here on his nose, some up here on his forehead, and then as you get into the antlers, you can see it kind of outlining. So there's a lot of blue AB in here, which is gonna look fantastic. Okay, so here you can see more clearly, I think, that there are six moons, and then there should be kind of like a halo effect in the background. When you look at it here, the original piece, it's very dark. Uh, there are some stars in the background as well. But because there's a limited number of drills that come in the darker range, 310, 939, 823, they're going to have to... There's going to be more, a more dramatic shift than there is in the original painting, and that I'm prepared for. So let us flip this over, and I'm going to share with you what the drills look like. So are you ready to get into this? I wonder how many 310 there are in this painting. <laughs> Not too many. I think that's three bags. So, hmm, one sec. Here we have the three bags of 310, which is a lot less than I expected in fairness. We have 154, which is a burgundy. 939. 99, 99, 99. Hold on, how many bags? One, two, three, four, five bags of 99. Okay, so that's the dark blue. We have 823. Two bags of that, then 803. And we have a sun color. Ooh. If you like orange and yellow and blue, especially blue, or if you really love JoJo's art and round drills, this one would definitely be for you. Here's an AB. So if you're not sure what AB even stands for, it means Aurora Borealis, and that just kind of uh, delineates between a normal drill and a special drill. This one has an iridescent coating on top. I think you can see that rainbow effect that it has compared to the bottom. And it does, it sparkles, and you can see the sparkle from much further away as well when it's hung up on the wall. So that's one of them. That's our, uh, the one in the antlers. And then, let's look at the rest of these drills. We have some nice, almost pastel colors. Really nice. So you go from dark to, to bright, you know. Quite a lot of symbolism in that painting. Here's another AB drill color. This one is yellow, kind of like a light scrambled egg. Really nice. I remember having this color in the Nightbringer painting. So beautiful. And that's it. That's all the colors. So we have yellow and blue AB in this painting. Okay, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, and I'm going to show you how I wrap up the drills and put them back in the bag, because some people, some people, like me included, feel that it's kind of hard to get these back. So what I do is four, usually four, of these smaller bags will fit inside. So I'm just measuring, see how that works? And I start folding them in. So going back and forth on this inner bag until they're accordioned together, like so. Okay. Then I start with the least amount or the smallest big bag. Does that make sense? And then I take it and I start wrapping. And Luna's going to bark at us. 
she wants to come back in, even though it's a beautiful day outside. And I'm going to wrap all the way around this package and keep winding around the outside. It's a little tricky, but I'm sure you can do it. You might feel that it's easier to just kind of pull it like this. And then if you get to a point where it's like that, just try to flatten out those drills in the corner. I just realized that you were in widescreen. And then bring it around. And that, dear friends, is how I get my drills back the way they were in the original package. Just takes a little bit of finagling. And that's how I do it. <laughs> Uh, one day I had decided that I wanted to store my diamond art clubs in their original boxes in my closet instead of having the drills separated, which is what I was doing before. I was putting the drills in an under the bed container and the canvases in the box. And then I thought, this is such a waste of space for me. Since I have the box already, I should just put them all together. Well, that's when this was born. So um, the way, this is an older canvas, so what I'm going to do is, to get it back in the box, so I just turned into like a tutorial on how I store my diamond paintings, but honestly, with one of these older kits, this is what I'm doing. I'm actually doing what they do with their new kits, which is take the drills, and I'm going to put everything back inside, just in case I decide to give this away to someone, and I just roll gently outward. You can do it the old way where they roll inward. It doesn't really matter, but this seems to keep the, you know, the tightness out of it. Just like that. Now you can put this back into the sleeve, but I won't because it's much bigger now. And then I'll take the box. Line it up like this. And I'm going to gently twist and push until I get to those drills. Then I'm going to take my sticker and line it up and try to put the sticker in at the same time as the canvas. I hope I'm making sense. And voila, it's all in there. And it's nice and secure. Nothing is going anywhere. Ooh, there's a little bit of pink wax on the outside. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I store the Diamond Art Clubs back in their box. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a label on the outside corner here and that'll be, that'll be that done. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Thanks for joining me today. I hope, I hope you learned something new and enjoyed checking out another canvas. As of this video, this canvas is available on diamondartclub.com, but it may go out of stock soon. Very important reminder for those of you who are just new to diamond painting. These diamond paintings are being shipped from the United States, but originally they are made in China. So the shipment comes over to the USA, and unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, those shipments are delayed, and it takes a lot more effort for the team to be able to send them over. I don't want to scare anyone into panic buying, but I would ask that you be patient and understanding at this time because all diamond all of the diamond companies including diamond art club are going to have a little bit of a delay because of that and you may go to the website this may be out of stock when you see this video 
I'm sorry, but it will come back in stock as soon as everything calms down a little bit. But I just wanted to share this with you so that you could see what it looks like and decide if maybe this is something that you want to put on your wish list or maybe if it's available, maybe you want to purchase this. I think that this particular image would work really well for the men in our lives, um, considering that a lot of a lot of JoJo's arts paintings are unisex. They kind of speak to everyone. But I find that it can be difficult to find diamond paintings that men would really enjoy. You know, diamond drilling themselves, diamond painting themselves, or receiving as a gift. So, you know, for people out there like my father who really love, you know, the outdoors and things like that, they may appreciate these paintings too. So, with that said. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'll let you go for the day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you want to see more diamond painting videos like this, you know what to do too, or I hope you do. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. So take care guys, bye.